In this video, I'm going to show you two quick tests that you could do at home with just two golf clubs to test your mid-back mobility as well as your hip mobility. If you feel like your mobility is limited in your golf swing, odds are it's probably those two areas, so make sure you watch this video. What's going on everyone? Joe Orbicheski here, a licensed physical therapist and certified strength and conditioning specialist who specializes in helping golfers get out of pain, improve their mobility, and increase their strength so that they can play the best golf of their lives and feel their best off of the course as well. And in this video, I'm going to go over two techniques that you can go ahead and utilize to test yourself to see if you have enough mobility in your mid-back and your hips, which are very commonly limited in many golfers that I work with. But before we go into those two tests, if you don't mind, I would love for you to go hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll get notified on when more of my videos come out. And if you can like this video, that would also be very helpful to the channel and just helping more golfers see this video so that they can play and feel their best as well. So to perform these two tests, we're going to go ahead and look at our mid-back and our hips. We're going to start with our hips. Now this test is not only going to test the hips, although that is a primary test, uh, joint of this test. We are going to mainly look at the ability to rotate through our entire leg. So that also includes the knee and the ankle, which is needed in the golf swing, okay? So to perform this test, all you need is two golf clubs. You need your six iron and then any other club. You need to have the six iron because we're gonna utilize that to see how far you can go because we're looking to see if you can go 60 degrees or more throughout your entire leg, basically. And standard for most six irons is about 60 degrees, okay? So we're just going to take that six iron and we're going to put it down on the ground. We're going to line that up. And then with the other club, all you have to do is just run the shaft of the club along the bottom of the club head of the six iron. Okay? Now, to perform this test, you're going to be turning towards that side of the, sh the other club, whatever one that you chose. Okay? So we're going to just stand on one leg, okay? And then on your other foot, we're going to go on the ball of your foot, and I want you to place it anywhere between the arch and like the heel. So somewhere in there is comfortable. And then your hands are on your hips. And then all I'm going to have you do is you're going to turn your pelvis and your body towards that club that's on the ground, okay? Now what we're really looking for is I want you to make sure we're looking to see if the pelvis is turning. You can cheat very easily in this test by just turning a little bit with your pelvis, but then turning even more with your upper body. And if you're only looking at the shoulders and it looks like we're passing and rotating past that line here, uh, that's really not the case, right? My pelvis was still facing this way, but my upper body has turned even more. So it's giving me uh, a false sense that I passed the test. So you can also use another club here or an alignment rod. I recommend that you have someone film you or you can set your camera up yourself and just film it and then check it afterwards. But we're really looking at the pelvis and we want to see can we get parallel with this club that's on the ground here or can we go even past that, okay? So again, we just want to set up just like we talked about and then we're going to rotate as far as we can this way and as you can see my pelvis is pretty much, I would say, parallel towards that club there. Other things that you want to make sure that you're not cheating with this test include, you know, really rolling over off of your foot. The other thing would be kind of really hunching down and turning something along those lines. We want to make sure that we're staying up nice and tall throughout the test. Again, we're really looking to see if the pelvis has gotten parallel to this club down here or has even passed it even more, right? And we're not looking at the shoulders, okay? So that's going to be the first test to kind of just test our whole rotational ability throughout our leg, primarily the hip, but we're also looking at the knee and the ankle. So let's go ahead and look at the test for the mid-back. Okay, so to test your mid-back mobility, you're just gonna need a chair. You're gonna scoot to the edge of the chair. I'm sitting on a bench, a bench would be fine as well. And again, you could just use the same two clubs that you were using before to test your lower leg rotation. Now what we're gonna do with the clubs, we're going to create just a 90 degree angle right here, okay? And then we're going to turn that sideways so that we're sitting in the middle of one of those X's, 
Okay. Now that's going to create a 45 degree angle here. Okay. And that's what we want to try to pass or go through essentially. Now, to perform this test, again, really easy to cheat, and I don't want you to cheat, so I want you to have a good idea of where your back mobility stands. So scoot to the edge of the chair of the bench, like I had mentioned. We're going to put our feet and our knees together, and we're going to squeeze them together throughout the drill. Now, the other thing is here, I want you to take your hands, you can cross them against your chest, and then all we're going to do is we're going to rotate as far as we can towards one direction, okay? And what we're looking for, again, is we're looking for in between our shoulders, mainly our collarbones, to see if we're parallel or if we've turned even further than this angle here, basically, okay? So we want to make sure that we're turning far enough that way, and then we also want to test the other way. As you can see, this way looks a little bit tighter for me. Again, you really want to make sure that you're looking through the collarbone and the shoulders, and you want to make sure that you maintain your knees and your feet together, because it's really simple. A lot of people will go through, and then they start to do this, and then they can turn even further now, right? The other thing to really make sure that when performing this test, you stay up nice and tall throughout this drill, and then you don't kind of bend down, you don't hunch and turn, none of those things are going to be good. So stay up nice and tall, keep those knees and feet together, and we want to rotate again as far as we can towards this direction and towards the other. Again, if you can get your collarbones to be parallel to this club or past, and then same thing on this side, that means you have enough mid-back mobility. If you are kind of parallel or less than parallel, you do not pass that test, and you need to work on your mid-back mobility, whether that's the, the spine or even some of the ribs and or some of the musculature along that area to help you turn a little bit better. So those are the two quick and dirty tests that you can do to test your mid-back mobility and your hip mobility. Again, those are two of the most common areas that I find to be limited in most amateur golfers. So those things, if you're limited in your mid-back and your hips, can cause some low back pain, which is not ideal and can keep you off of the golf course. So go ahead, test yourself. Let me know how you did in the comments, and I'm going to be posting a video as well about how to improve your hip and mid-back mobility to help you avoid low back pain and even get out of low back pain if you are experiencing low back pain. If you haven't done so already, please go down and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this and more tips and tricks if you want to get out of pain, improve your mobility, and improve your strength so that you can play the best golf of your life. Make sure you subscribe to that and you'll get notifications when new videos are out. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if this video really resonated with you and was helpful, please go ahead and share this video on your social media or just go ahead and share my channel on your social media or with any friends or family via email, again, or social media. Thank you so much for watching the video. Keep working hard. Keep striving for excellence because when you feel great, you can golf great.